action pictures to be found in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement that comes to you each week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Join the 11 million adults and 6 million youngsters who make their weekends more enjoyable reading the world's greatest comic and adventure pictures by the world's best artist featured in every issue of the Comic Weekly. Insist on the Sunday newspaper that brings you the Comic Weekly. Karnak, in attempting to escape from Jungle Jim, took off in his seaplane. But his motors failed and he nosedived into the lake. A patch of oil on the water and bits of floating wreckage marked the final resting place of Karnak the Killer. Jungle Jim then goes back to the shore near the ruined cabin to break the news to Judith, Karnak's niece. He finally succeeds in comforting her and wins her confidence. Then he takes her back to meet Shanghai Lil. In the meanwhile... A scout from a tribe of Karnak's headhunters has seen the smoke from the burning cabin and reports to his chief that Karnak has been attacked. Summoning his fierce warriors, the old chief starts to close in on Jungle Jim and avenge the attack upon Karnak. But from a high point above the shore, Kolu's keen eyes notice the approaching war canoes. Swamp Jim! Swamp Jim! Come quick! What's wrong, Kolu? What is wrong? Think I see something? Okay, Kolu, I'll be right there. Excuse me, Miss Judith and Lil, but Colo sighted something. Maybe a passing ship or one of the naval seaplanes. No, I hope you're right. Tell me right up, Colo. What do you see? No quite sure, Juan. Look fast. Oh. There we are. Now then, Colo. What is it that got you so excited? Look, Juan. Hmm? Way down end of lake. Two things move. Where? Colo thinks they canoes. Canoes? War canoes, Colo? Mm, say, maybe those headhunters have seen the smoke from the burning cabin and are coming to investigate. Boy, oh boy, if that's the case, we're due for more trouble. Mm. Maybe not be canoes. Cannot see good yet. Oh, no, I... No, that canoe's all right. They're moving along at a pretty good clip, right in the direction of this island. Well, what's all the excitement, Jim? Decided a passing steamer? There's no such luck, Lil. Come here. Look down there. Right at the end of the lake, see? See those two things moving this way? Uh, yes. Two boats, aren't they? Uh-huh. Well, in all probability, war canoes filled with headhunters. Well, you're probably right, Mr. Bradley. The headhunters all live in that section of the island. And one of their scouts has probably caught sight of the smoke from the burning cabin. Well, that's good news. We're suddenly playing into tough luck. We fall right out of one jam into another. That's one thing you'll find out about being around us, Judith. There's never a dull moment. In the home of Judith, if you want it, here's your big chance to gloat. Here we are trapped on this island and surrounded by headhunters who will probably take our heads and won't even touch a hair of yours. Mr. Bradley, I ought to slap your face for saying that. (laughs) And if you don't, I will. He deserves it. That was entirely uncalled for. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on there, hold on. Don't you two start to gang up on me. I didn't really mean it seriously. But nevertheless, I'm sorry. Pardon me, Judith. Hmm. Kolo sure now, Tuan Jim. See canoes plain now, filled with men. Paddle fast. Yep, you're right. You can see them plainly now. Come along, everyone. Come along with me. Where to, Judith? Have you got a nice little hideout we can retreat to? Never mind the question. Hurry. We can't afford to lose a minute. <laughs> Lead the way and we'll follow, Miss Judith. We want to be completely out of sight before those headhunters start closing in. They're playing a return date for my head. Mm, be very bad, Tuan Jim. No guns. No boat. Look bad for us. You're telling me. Kind of wish now that Will hadn't set that cabin afire and burned up all the rifles, machine guns, and ammunition. Don't worry, Mr. Bradley. What? Wait until you see the little surprise I have in store. Oh, I'll bet it'll be very pleasant. Where are we going? Back to the ruins of the cabin? Just a little distance back of the cabin, Bill. My uncle built something for just such an emergency as this. Wait until you see it. Well, I can't wait. Just leave me to it. Well, just stop right here. Now, Mr. Bradley, if you and Cola will just pull away all the thick grass around this place, you'll find a heavy iron ring lifted up, and you'll find a big trap door. Oh, that's enough for me. Come on, Colo. Let's get busy. Uh, uh, get the ring? Uh, uh, I ring one. I find here. Okay. Now, stand back, girls, and we'll open this trap door. Ready, Colo? All right, come on up. Heave up. Uh, 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 what? Well, 
look at that. Nice iron ladder. Uh-huh. The walls are completely built of brick. Say, this looks like a nice little hideout. Mm. Now, if you allow me to go first, I know my way around. You follow me, Lil. It's quite a long ladder, so just be careful and go slowly. I'll be waiting for you at the bottom. Okay, Miss Judith. You lead the way. I'll follow Lil. And Colo, uh, you can pull the door down when you come in. All right, Miss Judith, whenever you're ready. Everybody here? Now, on this ledge here, you'll find a waterproof box. Wrapped up inside some oil skin, you'll find matches. Oh, wait now. Wait. Oh, yeah, there's the ledge. No. Yep. Here's the box. Now, back of the box, wrapped up in oil skin, are several big torches. Light one of them so we can see our way through the tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay, Miss Judith. I found them. Mm. Here, Colo. Reach out and take a torch while I light a match. Mm. The torches are good, too. There. That's better. Now I can see where we're going. Now follow me down this tunnel. Colo. Yes, what? Now you follow Miss Judith. And hold the torch up high so we can all see. Yeah. It'd be good now, Squad. Already, Miss Judith? Mm -hmm. Boy, I'll have to say this is some hideout you've got here, Miss Judith. Yes. My uncle built this secretly. Not even the natives know about it. We're perfectly safe down here. All we need is food enough. And we can stay down here until those headhunters get tired of looking for us. Now, I don't think that'll be necessary. When you see what's waiting us at the end of this tunnel. Well, what do you mean? You even have food, arms, and ammunition down here, too? Yes. And that isn't all, either. Well, plenty of guns and ammunition, plus a little food, will be enough to make me feel happy for a while. Yes, uh, give Cole, Will, and myself a rifle piece and plenty of ammunition. And we'll give those headhunters a run for that money. Huh, that's fine. But just wait until you see what's around the end of this tunnel. Well, I'll say this, Judith. You're certainly building up the suspense to say nothing of what you're doing to my good old feminine curiosity. Well, it won't be long now. Just a few more steps around the bend of this tunnel, and you'll find the answer to your trouble. Say, you've even got me going now, Judith. With something better than food, guns, and ammunition, why? I can't imagine what it could be. Maybe we got nice house built down here, Twan. Well, it's not a bad idea, Colo. I could use a good bed. Stop your guessing now and take a look. Here we are. Uh, look, oh. Twan. Nice boat. Well, can you... Gosh, I'll say it's a nice boat. A nice 30-foot motor launch. No wonder we couldn't find the boat when we went looking for it, Colo. Well, Judith, this is more than just a surprise. This is a gift from heaven. Look it over, Mr. Bradley, and you'll find it's perfectly equipped for everything we need. Guns, ammunition, provisions. You'll notice there is an extra large fuel tank, and it's filled to capacity. There are several extra cans of gasoline and oil for emergency use. You'll find it very seaworthy craft, too. Oh, that's great, Judith. Boy, oh, boy, this is a lifesaver for all of us. Well, Skipper, what about it? When do we say? Not so fast, not so fast. There's a lot more things I've got to find out about before we shovel off in open water. And Judith can give us all the necessary information. There are maps and charts of the whole for Bruin Island group in that forward lockup. Well, that'll be a big help once we get away from here. But first, Judith, uh, I'd like to know about the channel of water that runs into this cave. The channel runs through this cave for about 500 yards. Yeah. And it's perfectly safe to navigate as long as the tide is up. The entrance is on the same side of the island from which we saw the war canoes approaching. That means they were going to make a run for us. We ought to get out before those war canoes get too close. Mm, that's it, though. We can easily outdistance them in this launch, but... You know, I wouldn't want to run right into them at the mouth of this cave. And see, as it is, I don't know anything about the outside of the town. So I'll have to cruise slowly until we get out into open water. And that would give those headhunters a good chance to get at us. That's right, Mr. Bradley. The only place you'll have any trouble is... Well, it's getting the boat through the cave into the narrow channel outside. Oh, there are some treacherous rocks around the entrance. You'll have to do some careful navigation to get through into the open water. Okay. Well, now, the less time we lose, the better. We've got to be out of the cave and into open water before those war canoes can get close to the island. All right, come on now. Let's get aboard. Now, oh, Miss Judith, uh, you get in the front seat with me. You know the channel, and you can help me pilot the launch. Okay. Alive. Uh, you and Colo uh, occupy those rear seats. Okay. And uh, have your guns loaded and ready for trouble. And you'll have to do any shooting that's necessary while I concentrate on the navigation. Are you ready, Miss Judith? Yes. Oh, here. Here, give me a hand. I'll help you in. Thank you. Uh, there. There you are. Okay, Lil, you're next. Step in. Me, Harold. Okay. There. All right, Colo. 
Untie those lines. Shove her off and jump in. And don't forget to hold that torch up. Uh, all right. Ready now, Squawk? Okay. We're off. Cautiously, the motor launch, piloted by Jungle Jim, feels its way through the dark, treacherous cave toward the sunlit entrance. Will they be successful in making their escape? What new dangers await them when they leave the cave? Are they over-optimistic about the ignorance of the headhunter's knowledge of the hidden cave? Don't miss the next thrilling episode in the adventures of Jungle Jim. Remember, you can follow these adventures in the full-color action pictures which appear in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement containing the best full-color adventure and comic pictures. Remember, no other comic supplement can give you the top names of cartoon land like the list of all-star favorites to be found in the Comic Weekly. The whole family follow the fun and frolics of Popeye the Sailor, Tilly the Toiler, Barney Google and the Little King, the impish antics of Skippy, the Cats and Yarmie Kids, the immortal Mickey Mouse, as well as the exciting adventures of Flash Gordon and Jungle Jim. Join the 11 million adults and 6 million youngsters who every week find the greatest of home entertainment in the Comic Weekly, which comes to you with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. More thrilling radio adventures of Jungle Jim will be heard at the same time next week over this same station. Be sure to tune in.